AI is everywhere, but how can we trust the models that are there for us to consume? It's similar to a home renovation. I'm actually renovating my kitchen and I'm so excited to get brand new countertops and all white cabinets, stainless steel appliances, as well as brand new lighting. But I might want these things tomorrow, but I need to follow a process to make sure that that kitchen is delivered to me safely and I can trust it for years to come. It's a little bit like generative AI models. We might want them tomorrow, but we need to take the steps to make sure they're trusted and secure. In this video, I'll cover five ways to build trusted AI, both generative and traditional models. But first, let's talk about what could go wrong. Let's talk about three risks. Just like in my home renovation process, there are many risks that can occur. Everything from making sure the people doing the work have legal protections in case something happens on the job, to redoing a floor and not completing the right process or steps, and more money has to be spent to fix it. So let's cover three risks for generative AI models. The first risk is legal. There are a growing list of legal implications for using AI improperly or not following all the steps needed for organizations to use a model. There's a number of growing regulations like the EUAI Act, the New York Hiring Bias Law, as well as the executive order from the White House on generative AI. And the number will only grow over time. Next, we have reputation risks. That's what you want on your score. Everything from your brand matters from your reputation. There's an instance of a large organization deploying a generative AI chatbot gave a very high value item for only a fraction of its original cost. Finally, we have operational risks. These risks can result in immense fines or loss of productivity for a company. This could be everything from regurgitating PII information unintentionally or exposing trade secrets. Now that we understand the risks at stake, let's talk about how to build trust in our AI models. Here are five simple tips. First, is know your scope. Just like in my home renovation process, I want to define specifics on what I'm going to be working on and what contractors can and can't do. I just want them to focus on the kitchen. Just like in my home renovation process, I'm going to define my AI model's scope by setting guardrails around that scope. I'm going to say exactly what the model can do, and even more importantly, what it can't. A good example of this is with chatbots. If I create an AI chatbot for an organization, I might not want the chatbot to answer any questions related to pricing. Pricing is outside of the guardrails. In this case, I'm going to send all of those questions outside of the generative AI model and straight to an agent. Second, we have the foundation. Know your foundation. I know all the details about my house before I get started in the project, right? I know the types of pipes I might have, as much as possible about my house as I can so I don't run into risks I didn't see coming. I want the same thing for my model. I want to understand the data used to build the model, what 
it was recommended to be used or not used for, as well as what type of model it is, open or closed, as well as the model architecture. One way to do that is through model cards. Model cards show all the details about a model, a large language model, for you to use. Everything from the data that was used to build the model, from the architecture about the model, how training was done on the model, and how it can or can't be used. So this gives you the foundation you need to get started and know the model you select for use. Third, knowing and setting your life cycle governance. In my home and with the help of a contractor, I'm going to document the entire home improvement process so that I know the different steps and safeguards it takes to move from one stage to the next, as well as who's doing the work. The same thing for my model. I want to set up and document a specific process so that I know all the steps that are being used to build the model. I know versions of the model that are being used. I know who's making model changes. I know which version is going to production, and that should include everything from any training data that's being used to the different types of prompts that I'm using to build my model, as well as test data, right? That's verifying that I want to move to the next step. Next, we have our fourth step, which is monitoring risk. Throughout the home renovation process, I'll need to monitor the risks every step of the way. I need to check in and make sure that the home is still stable and sound and monitor that nothing is going to go wrong with my structure throughout the process. And that might include several tests and tracking of that information. The same thing for my model. I'm going to want to track steps over time and metrics specific to bias and hallucination to make sure that the model's operating in a way that I'd like, both in production as well as throughout the testing process. And this will ensure that when an issue does arise, I'm able to quickly react and take action on it. Even better, if you can find a way to automate the process so that this can be done seamlessly and you can move on to other tasks and be alerted if there are any issues at all. Finally, we cannot leave out compliance. It's important to know in my home renovation process, am I up to code, right? What code regulations are going to impact my renovation and to track them over time and link them to specific steps of the process. The same thing goes for my generative AI model. I'm going to link different parts of the model or different steps to potential legal regulations as well as use cases so that if a law changes or a requirement changes, I can very quickly track that back to the part or the model if I have a number of models that is impacted by that rule. So extremely important to make sure I can quickly react and adjust so that I'm not penalized severely for that error with my model. Nothing is as important to a relationship yet as fragile as trust. AI can truly transform your customer experience, but keep these five tips in mind to make sure the models that you're building are models your customers can trust. And remember, if you get into trouble, there's people you can trust who can help you along the way. Thanks for watching. Before you leave, please remember to like and subscribe.